Okay, let's talk about the latest Louis Vuitton wallet on chain Lily. Is it worth it? Hello everyone, welcome back to another mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I am checking out the latest wallet on chain from Lily. Is it worth it? Now before I get started, if you like the content on this channel, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It really helped a lot. Thank you so much for considering and on with the video. So. The wallet on change Lily from Louis Vuitton was released in 2023. It is a very small, very simple classic bag. In fact, I think it looks a lot like a newer version of the LV favorite bag, like this one here. It's currently discontinued now. You can only buy it in the pre-love market. So I find that this new wallet on chain Lily looks a lot like that, but like a little bit smaller and it has a chain strap. For this video, I want to go over my major pros and cons related to the wallet on chain Lily. Hopefully it'll help you decide whether this handbag is worth it for you. I have seven major pros related to this bag and also like four cons you want to consider if you need someone to talk yourself out of it. And I'll come to my final conclusion as to whether this Lily Wallet Unchained is worth it. So let's get started. Starting off with pros. First of all, I do think that this is like a very timeless design. It's very simple, yet I think it's still functional. No bells and whistle, very simple design, which makes it timeless in that if you use it like a decade from now, I don't think it's considered dated because it's quite like ageless, I would say. The second pro is the versatility. It comes with this chain that you can see attached to a D-ring right here. So you can wear it as a crossbody, you can detach it, you can change it to a clutch, you can also change out the length of the strap. So I think I really like the versatility related to that. The next pro is the magnetic closure. It easily allows you to get in and out of the bag compared to, let's say, a S lock or a button closure. And I really like that about this handbag. It makes it just easy to use. The next pro is the size. And I think this can be a pro or a con. I think it's just big enough. It's not intended to have a wallet because it is a wallet on chain after all. It is a small leather good. So you're not expecting this to be like a really big handbag. I do find that it fits my phone, my iPhone. And I, in fact, I think it fits both my phone at the same time, which is a major plus. The next pro I want to go over is probably the biggest pro for this handbag that makes it stand out and it's the chain that it comes with. It has a very unique chain that it comes with. The chain is detachable first of all which is pretty like regular what you would expect but what is interesting is that the length of the chain is also adjustable so you can adjust it shorter or longer. I wonder if we will see more style of this type of chain coming up in future handbags. Or like for me, I actually like to buy this chain separately because I, I like the idea that a chain is adjustable. The next pro I want to bring out is that it is a very structured handbag as you can see here. It's not slouchy, so you know it will keep a shape over time. Last but not least, my final pro is that it's great for everyday use. It's a very casual style as you can see with the monogram on it. I can see myself wearing this on a regular basis from day to day and it's just a great grab and go handbag. So now that I've gone over the major pros, I want to go over the cons related to the handbag if you need someone to talk you out of buying this. Number one of course is the compact size. I mean like if you prefer something a little bit bigger, like something a more wiggle room, this is not the handbag for you. It's really for the minimalist who just needs the bare essentials. For me as a mommy, I prefer something with a little bit more wiggle room in case I have extra things I want to pack in. So I see myself maybe using this later on when the kids are a little bit older. The next thing I want to bring up is this logo plaque. 
it's gonna scratch so easily especially if you're planning on using this on a regular basis it's just gonna happen so if this is gonna bother you this is not the handbag for you the other thing is like i find that the logo plaque may look a little bit dated what do you guys think um i just don't know if it's like really essential for this design that they have that plaque on it doesn't really add much aesthetically the next thing i want to bring up is the classic flap design that this handbag comes with. I'm worried about the canvas cracking with repeated use of opening this flap. And also notice where the placement of the D-ring is located on the side here, where you attach a chain. So the chain is gonna tug on the side of the flap here. So I'm worrying about like with repeated use, like that chain's gonna rub against the canvas and cause wear and cracks. At least I foresee this being a possible issue. Now, the last con I want to bring up is the price. This one is currently priced at $2,160 for this wallet on chain by Lily. The size is 8.1 by 4 by 1.4 inches, and this is in the monogram version. They don't have other um, materials that comes in at the moment. But I find that this is a very typical price, I would say, for canvas handbags from Louis Vuitton. But I had actually expected something slightly lower given it is considered a small leather good on their website. So what is my final conclusion? Well, I must say I like how it is simple, still functional for a minimalist. But since it is a little bit on the smaller side, I think it's only great if you plan on carrying less when you're going out uh, for like quick errands there are some good alternatives on louis vuitton that are currently available besides this handbag if you're looking for something like wallet on chain size so for example is the felice pouchette that's priced at 1890 dollars so you can see there is a price difference of around like 200 300 dollars and this pouchette for Felice also comes with two additional inserts which I like. The only downside is it has this button closure so it's not as easy to like close properly I would say but still like a very classic envelope design with this pouchette Felice that is available to place in cart. The other one I want to bring your attention to is this Wallet on Chain Ivy that came out in 2023 as well. This is priced at $2,330, so it's a little bit more expensive being around like $100, $200 extra. It's not available for purchase, but I like the versatility in that you can have a chain and you can also have a leather strap option. And also the design is a little bit more unique, a little bit different. And you see the leather strap that it comes with is Vachetta, so it does require a little bit more care a little bit more babying but you can see on the inside it's pretty spacious and it also has this zipper closure for added security some people do find that maybe this version of the handbag of a wallet on chain for this ivy wallet on chain is a little bit prettier what do you think do you think it's prettier let's say compared to the newest wallet on chain lily i would love to hear from you well for me i think i would prefer if this handbag this wallet on chain was like double in size i think that would make it super popular and maybe in emperor leather version that would be nice as well seeing different colors would also be nice overall i think this is like very classic with an interesting twist with the chain which i like would i buy it I think that if you don't have a wallet on chain handbag from Louis Vuitton in your collection, this could be something to consider. I like it, but there's just so many different options available on Louis Vuitton. I would really suggest trying it out at the store to see if it fits your size, your comfort, like does it fit your style. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me on this handbag review on the wallet on chain Lily. Do you think it's worth it? If you have a choice, would you purchase this Lily version for wallet on chain? Or would you purchase the Ivy handbag wallet on chain or the Felice handbag? I would love to hear from you. And if you already have your hands on the wallet on chain Lily, I would love to hear your experience with it. And with that said, thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully, I will see you next time in another mommy review. Take
take care and stay safe everyone bye for now